Hi, my name is Mark Hunt, and I am a MIDI lab specialist here at Full Sail University, and today we're going to learn how to create a wobble bass line. The wobble effect is a common technique in today's electronic music, particularly in the dubstep genre. In order to achieve that trademark sound, we need to use modulation, and basically that's just changing the timbre of a sound by altering its tone. Today I'll be using Logic's ES2 synthesizer, but these parameters can be found on most hardware or software instruments. All right, so here's the ES2, and I'm going to select the break space under the factory presets. So that was kind of lame. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create some modulation using the modulation matrix. So first we need to select a source. In order to modulate the waveform, we need to use an LFO, or low frequency oscillator. In this case, it's going to be LFO2. And the target of our modulation is going to be our filter. And this is going to create the wobble effect. From here, I'm going to choose a rate of the LFO. In this case, it's going to be 16th notes. All right, now that we have everything set, let's go ahead and record this bass line. Now that we have this performance recorded, we can actually go in and automate the LFO rate so that we can change the rate throughout the track. So first, we select the automation button and this is going to open up the track automation. So let me widen that track for you. And then we choose the parameter that we want to automate. In this case, it's the LFO2's rate. So we're starting off with 16th notes, and then we're going to automate all the way down to a quarter note. So let's see what that sounds like. All right, so from here we can continue with the automation or even experiment with the plug-in effects, but these are the basics of the wobble bass line.